What's up everyone? This is Ash and this is Spin Hero. I want to make an achievement and I am going to stop playing as the pickpocket for just a little bit. Just take a little break because I'm tired of a uh, just tired of the pickpocket. Let's be honest here. All right, so we're going to go ahead and hit play. Let me turn my volume a little bit. It's always low for some reason. Let me click on Django. That's who we're going to play as. We're going to get at least Django some progress here. Progress is good. Progress is what we want to see, right? All right, so we got Trophy Seller, gain 3x gold after defeating Elite, Deadly, deadly Ambush. And this is also against... No, it's just Elites. Leave the traps, apply 15 stacks of a random debuff on Elite or Boss encounters. That's great, but I kind of want the gold. Um, after defeating an Elite, get 3x gold, because that just kind of means he can go and fight all those elites and get some uh, good stuff from it so we're gonna do that i want to use the gold to my advantage so going down this way i i can get the rune uh, i think i would rather go north get those two elites grab the chest i don't think i'm gonna go for the rune i'm gonna go for all these elites over here which ultimately sounds better for this character um, let's go grab all these weapons, because Django does pretty good with weapons. Django also does really good with the de debuffs. So, I am not going to worry about common enemies. I'm just going to mostly worry about elites. That's it. Just elite, elite. All the time, elite. That's really how Django operates. So, that's, uh, that's what I'm planning on doing. I'm definitely going to need a better heal system with Django. Um, more shields and a better heal. Yeah, I mean, he does heal after f fighting bosses. That's right. But, you know, you, you get, well, elites. But the thing is, you shouldn't be taking damage anyway while you're fighting the elites. Preferably. But this guy, he really just hunts down those elites and he, he goes to work, man. Let's go and get that assassin ship. Grab this. No keys in inventory. Oh, no. All right. Well, we're going to go north. We're going to go fight more of these dudes because they just make me stronger. And they technically keep me alive, too. Oh, no. You hurt me. I'll be fine. I'll get my health back. Oh, it's all good. Let's go and get that wooden shield. Let's go straight to this guy. I mean, yes, I could fight the common enemies, but... Honestly, I don't feel like that's a good use of time with Django. Especially not on this difficulty. We're on difficulty three. I mean, Django's got this. Come on. He's definitely got this. All right, so Poison Flask sounds pretty fun. I'll take that. I'm going to go down this way. I'm going to fight this dude. And uh, I shouldn't have too much struggle here. I figured it's going to be the same system as the lane. Uh, tier 5 is just going to be a little bit difficult, but it shouldn't be too bad either. Get rid of that rat folk king. He's a, a jerk head. All right, um, let's go ahead and get the wizard hat because that gives me some armor and some more mana rage into. Can't go wrong with either of those. I like having some decent armor. I don't like to depend on defeating elites to heal. Uh, I'll take a linen cap, I suppose. A straight up bomb would be nice and a night shield. Up here we have armored. Um, yeah, I'll take that one, sure. A spell blade is not terrible. And if I do end up with debuffs later, I'm, I mean, I'll take it. So let's reroll the shop. What do we have here? Bomb sword, huh? Bag of gold. A shiv. Wood next. Rusty cleaver can be pretty interesting. Especially for a boss. Weakness and frail. Yeah, let's take that. And I think I should get the bag of gold. And then we should just be good. We should just go. Alright, so let's go ahead and put the armor fortified and the weakness. And let's see how that rolls. Shouldn't be too difficult. Have you guys ever tried having like the ramen that you get in packages, you know, like in the cups and stuff? Have you ever tried that ramen with peanut butter? It's pretty good. Actually, we, we have that for dinner tonight. And uh, 
I actually really enjoy that stuff. All right, let's reroll. Plate armor, please. Let's just get some straight up armor. All right, so I gotta do some quick calculations here. If I go this way, I have to miss the chest to get the champion. If I go this way, I can technically... No, I also missed the chest. Ah, oh, dang it. I have to choose between champions or chest. I think I can get... Okay, so one, poop. And then you. You're fortunately at the finish line. So this way will get me... One, two, three. Maybe. They're about the same. Technically, they're about exactly the same. So I'm gonna go ahead and go north, I think. Take that chest and then just keep going down. That's probably the best routes I could do at the moment. Yeah, so what you do is you get the noodles and you get peanut butter and you mix peanut butter in the noodles. And I like it. Unicorn Trekkie likes it. It's one of our, our yum go-to quick food items. All right, let's see. Um, let's get some boots. I'm taking some damage. So, I mean, a little bit more armor can't hurt that badly, right? I, I mean, I, I've eaten my own words before, so this might be one of those instances. 52 damage, bro. 61 damage, bro. Good thing you're dead, bro. Go ahead and take that mana squirrel just in case it needs. Let's go up here. Magic jellyfish. You used to be a bane of my existence, and then, you know, I just got used to him. He's not that bad. Let me grab some water real quick. Okay, um, I think out of these, I'm gonna take the bandit sword just because I do want to go a little bit cooldowns, uh, cooldown method. Why am I trying for these keys so bad? I don't have to because it does nothing for me. I, I should have just skipped the chest and go in the middle. Oh well. Alright, so we're gonna go down here, fight this dude. Going down, buddy. Okay, we have a bomb here. Very simple weapon that is very effective. Boom. And we're good. We got the win and we're at full health. That's a plus. All right, so a rusty greatsword, yes, it's a throwaway weapon to me. So let's go ahead and get rid of the broken blade. I'm just kind of monitoring my stats in silence. So if I'm not speaking, I'm just observing and reporting to myself. Nice. All right. Um, I don't think I need any of those, honestly. I'm going to take the rune, though. So it's a magic jellyfish. That is not a bad enemy to go up against in this game. Not the worst. Not the best either. Hopefully I go against Bruce because Bruce is not that difficult. A longsword, shinobi star, or poison. I'll take another poison flask. That could be interesting. And I'll take the epic power buff. That could be fun too. All right, so let's take a look at some stuff here. So we got power, we got thorns, poison. Right, um, we got a bomb sword. Uh, there's no clear path here yet. What I am going to do though is I'm going to get rid of some of these trash weapons. So let's go ahead and get rid of the rusty greatsword. And where else is the a rusty axe? Let's get rid of those. Those are trash weapons and they kind of serve their purpose. Okay, let's go ahead and re-roll the shop one time. Perfect. A bag of money, you can't go wrong with it. Uh, it'll give me like 90 more gold, 90 something, no, like 87. So you can't go wrong with that, I'll take it. 
Um, long sword. No, thank you. None of these. Where, where? Nope. None of the above. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab some symbol rerolls. A couple removals. And I think we're good. So here we are. We're going to go ahead and drop weakness and frill, power, and we'll, we'll just drop it all. Let's go. We have fortified on, so we're just going to gain more strength as we go. Of course, we got that poison build up too. Very handy to have. Look at how. See, this is why I was saving Django for last. At least that was the goal. It just kind of flows naturally with Django. You know what I mean? It's, it's like. I don't even have to try that hard. Alright, so we're going to grab this dude. I don't have a golden key, so there's no points. Let's see, one, two, three. Now I can try to get that little cluster of three up there. That'd be ideal if I had a golden key, but I do not. Right, I'm, I'm gonna stick with north. North is my route so far this game. And I am completely cool with that. So I'm gonna stick with it. Let's get rid of the throwing knife. Here we go. We're on stage three, so hopefully we start getting some legendaries. Just a little bit. I don't have a golden key, so it's not going to come from a chest. I can tell you that much. Um, but I just got rid of the throwing knife. No, thank you. None of the above. Not sure why I used a reroll, but I did. I was saving the reroll for a rainy day, I guess. I actually really do need some armor, though. That's probably where my weak point is. Is I do not have enough armor. So I will re-roll one time, two times. And yeah, I'll take a Bard's Tunic. Why not? It's armor. Um, and let's get rid of... Do, 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 do. Let's get rid of a Wooden Axe. So we're blocking for 65. That's still not very great. 67. I might have... Oh, I might actually have to use a rune if this doesn't work. He's going to kill me otherwise. 51. Yeah, he's got some crazy debuff. I'm dead. It's a game over, folks. Wow. I am not very good with my RNG. Maybe I lost my touch. Is that what it is? Did I lose my touch, folks? All right, so let's go back with him. And we're going to try... Like, this is great. But I think I want to do lethal traps. I mean, debuffs are amazing, in my opinion. So if I could start with a key, this would be ideal. If not, then I'm going south. I mean, no, actually, no. I should still go north. I only get three elites going north, though. Hmm. Okay, you have a key build. I'm going to take the... What the heck is this? Look, this is kind of crazy going on up here. All right, I'm going to take the key build, though. Uh, none of those. Spiky helmet. Okay. That's not the best weapon to have. That's not the best piece of armor to have, I should say. But I'll take it. Not gonna complain too much. At least it's armor, right? Then I got a small fan of knives. Um, fire staff? Would be good if I had a way. You know, I'm gonna take explosives. We're gonna do this, man. I don't want Django, you can't we can't let the audience down, dude. We've been doing that lately with the pickpocket and no. Not anymore. We're done with that life. Let's go with the mana score. Why? Because I want to gain more mana. That other build was definitely like a debuff build. The one that was on the top. So we have a red cherry. Um, we're going to take poison knife. 
Why? Because it's poison. That's why. Another one. Okay, okay. Let's we'll stack them up. We got four poison knives. Why not? Is a poison knife build an actual thing? I don't know. But we're gonna find out. Let's go and grab that. What's our block? 15. Ouch. Jeez, you hit hard for being stage one. You're about to hit me 29 on stage one. Calm down, dude. All right, I'm gonna take a steel axe. Um, let's see, what do we have up here? 200, a weakness and frail, and I'll take a rusty cleaver. And I'll take the fire staff. And for my throwing knife fan, I'll take the throwing... Everything's just right here. All right, um, I'm not gonna reroll. I'm just gonna track, grab a couple of those and let's go. All right, so double exhaustion and roll. Got a triple knife now, nice. So these do a lot of bleed. Once you get them built up. Okay, so let me look at this real quick. Technically, since I don't have a key, I should go up here. Or down. One or the other. Defeat these two. Go over here. Defeat this dude. And then go back down and get that chest. Cool. Let's do it. It's the same path either way. It doesn't matter if I go from the bottom or the top. It works exactly the same. So we have 37 block. We need more block. Thank you. Perfect. Perfect. Boop, boop, boop. 36 block. 30. Oh, he's doing a little debuff. I'm, I'm going to take the small buckler just because that's a nice blocking weapon. Well, shield. Um, get rid of one of the leather boots and we're good. Should be completely fine doing that. Boom, boom, boom. And he's dead. Um, none of the above, I think. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and skip those. So we're gonna continue south. We got a nice little hill from that. Defeating an elite, give me a hill. Perfect. Um, I'll take the coin sack, thank you. And of course, I want to fight the elite. That's the ideal thing to do here. Fight the elite, keep moving on. There's fireworks. Crazy. It's not even a holiday. People just like to fire fireworks. Look at all these debuffs, by the way. Pretty nice. I'm gonna take the throwing knife. Why? Because I want a full I want a full stack of throwing knives. Uh Shinobi Star would be great if I had. A belt, but I'll take the great sword. Here we go. Let's go fight this dude. Bam. Keep, I keep with it. Doing some nice bleed with that fan of knives. I want to keep that up. Actually, the knives is pretty cool. Venomous dagger. Yeah, let's keep with the knife theme here. Here, let's go ahead and get rid of. Let's get rid of the kunai. I've never done like a pure knife build, so this is interesting. Make him strong. I don't think it applies debuffs using this plus 12 or whatever. A chakram, huh? 
Yeah, let's, let's go with some more agility, sure. Get rid of that. Boop. It's more poison is what it is. Yeah, you're hurting me, but it doesn't hurt as much as me defeating you. I'm just gonna skip that. We have still axe, assassin shiv could be interesting. It'll add so many different elements on. Um, with the fen and knives, I really kind of want the assassin shiv, but I'm not gonna take it. I'm gonna skip that. All right, so I'm gonna take a small buckler. I'm gonna take the plate mail too. Let's grab a couple of these because I'm going to sell a few things. I'm going to sell the mana because do I really need it? No, not really. Rusty Cleaver. And let's get rid of one leather boot. Oh, shoot. One leather boot. There we go. That's pretty decent. What do we have up here? Frail weakness. Oh, my God. That's kind of nice. This can come in clutch. All right, there we go. Perfect, let's go. So, Rainy Shores, stage two. Bam, bam. One spin in, please. Let's do this armored buff here, and bam. I generate a bomb? I did. Boop, 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 boop. It's gonna be game over for you, sir. Actually, this is not ter that's not, not a terrible build. All right, so what are we doing here? None of these. Nope. I mean, maybe the Bane Chakra. <laughs> I would rather have some kind of a shield system. Honestly. Unless they're gonna give me a legendary. Shinobi's Belt, okay, maybe. No, because I don't really have anything as Shinobi anymore. I, I don't think that would work. Um, go next. I'm going to do one more. If there is a Shadow Crystal. Regeneration Ring. Okay. I will take that, actually. I like my Regeneration Rings. I'm going south because I don't have a Golden Key. And there is a lot of Elites down south. Which just makes me stronger. And I love being stronger. So first of all, I'm going to defeat... I'm going to delete this guy. Okay, here we go. Which means I technically need to delete the fire staff. I have no way to maintain the fire staff. Alright, another spiky shield. Nice. I'll take that. Sure, man. Um, I'll take that and I'll get rid of one of those. Thank you. You guys are actually hitting me. You're doing some damage, man. But it's okay. I got that Raging, which is going to counter any damage they can possibly do. There's a Bane Chakra room that could increase my poison even further. As I don't really care to have a poison build. It's just really working in that favor. Let's take it. Bane Chakram is stronger than like poison knife and stuff. So let's get rid of Iron Axe. All right, we'll go with that. A lot of spiky shields. Not a terrible thing. It's not my favorite shield, but it's okay. 134, dang. All right. Um, Armor's Hammer, Shinobi Shuriken would be great with a belt. We got another explosives crate, but I'm not going to. I don't think I should clutter. I'm taking it. I am crazy, and I'm taking it. I 
Having a couple bangs go off is not a terrible thing to have. So, okay, so we got 50 blocks. You think for 44? We're good. We're good, man. We're golden, man. Here we go. Life shard, scorpion. None of those. Thank you. Let's keep going. I'm eventually going to run out of mana, but that's all right. Keep that fire staff triggering, dude. Another spike shield. Yeah. Do I need it? No. Am I taking it anyway? Yeah. I was about to use a rune, but I'm, you know, let's see how far we are. Uh, technically we can. Let's see, five battles, five battles. This one we could technically use. So I'm gonna go ahead and use that to be on the safe side. Even though I absolutely don't need it. I figured, why not? None of those, but thank you for the offer. It's the middle of the week, guys. It, it, when I'm recording this, it is Wednesday. And, uh, you know how it is when you're doing the 9 to 5 grind. It's the middle of the week. It's just like, man, wish it was Friday. All right, here we go. Double X, piggy bank, or oh, yeah. So I'm going to not get any of those. But Ash, you could have got the piggy bank. Yes, but it also will take up an inventory slot, which I don't want to gamble with at the moment. 92 attack? Dang. You're crazy. Why did I just get symbol removals? Because I felt like it. Let's get rid of the fire staff. Let's get rid of the steel axe. Let's get rid of a small buckler. What do I want up here? Nothing, because I can't afford it. Bam, 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 but I can't afford that, so that's great. Let's go and fight this dude. Well, we should easily be able to overpower this dude. It should be a cakewalk. Or should I say a poison walk? Because we're going to stack so much poison, dude. It's, it's going to be ridiculous. You're going to have tons of poison stacks. Eighty-four damage. Oh god. Ow. <laughs> Uh, bag of coins. Another Bane Chakra. A mana orb. I'm taking them. I am taking the Crimson Slicers. I don't care. Look, I like the Crimson Slicers, okay? They look at my bleed damage. This is ridiculous. I'm going to take the vein cutter too. <laughs> if we're going to do this, we're going to go all the way, folks. Bam. Sixty-eight bleed. One hundred thirty-nine bleed. This is insane. If I can get another set of crimson slicers, this would be game over. Bloodseeker. You would think Bloodseeker would go with this set, but no, it does not. Okay, so if I can keep doing this, then I will be healed back up in no time. Let's see, is he going to hit me? I mean, if he, is he going to do damage? If he's going to do damage, I'd use my Fortify. Boom. All right, cool. Let's just keep going. Bam. We'll just do elite after elite after elite. Because we ain't going to stop. Until these elites drop. 141 bleed. 
And then the poison gets him after that. Alright, let's take this regeneration ring. And... I'm gonna keep going north. First of all, I gotta remove a symbol. I'm going to remove... I'm gonna get rid of the sword. I would rather have the multiple bleed. I need one more... One more dagger. One more throwing knife. Look at that tremendous stack of bleed and poison. That's insane. And then I just get my health back. Alright, we're gonna keep going up here. Get the smoke devil out of my smoke way. Turn on a fan. That'd be that would be so funny, dude. Uh, our character just turns on a fan and points it towards him and he blows away. I would love that. Actually, it would be amazing. Okay, goodbye, Fiery Ifrit. I got some... I got a fire extinguisher for you. Put out that fire. Extinguish your flames. Another... No, we're not taking another regeneration ring. That's overkill. Bam. And bam. Bam. Okay, so I'm going to get rid of this. And we're good, just like that. I mean, yeah, I'm going to take a couple of these because uh, candy. And let's go. Oh, no, it's our best. Oh, no. He's the worst one. I have faith. I mean, I'm not blocking enough, but fortify should help. Is I think his attack's about 120. Yep, yeah, 120. So 121. Nice. Boop, boop, boop. And nice. He's gone. He's dead. <gasps> oh, dang it. They're both good. They're both good. I want hero's armor. Okay, what what has more elites? Let's see. One, two, three. They have the same amount of elites, but one has a chance of a good item here. So we're going we're going to try to get that rune. Alright, so I got hero's armor, so I'm gonna remove one armor and it's gonna be a spiky shield. Boop. Nice. Here we go. Ow, he hurts. Even with hero's armor, this is ridiculous. Alright, I'm gonna skip that. This guy, fortunately, should not damage us too much. 55, we're blocking for 101, okay. I really need the armor that gives me um, fortify. Anything good? No. Kills to full health, no. Legendary bleed. I want the legendary bleed. This is a bleed run, folks. This is all bleed all the time. I think that sounds fun. Uh, we're, we're blocking okay. It's the one we have to worry about is the dragon. Can I just skip the chest? I don't have a key. Unless this dude gives me a key, I doubt it. Yeah, you're not gonna give me no key. It's gonna give me more gold. It's all right, man. I was hoping for something, but it's fine. I at least wanted the gold from the chest. Like, I didn't really care about the item all that much. But it would have been a legendary item if I opened a golden chest at this point in the game. Alright, so let's see. Arcane Bow, Junk Collector. None of the above. Um, I am going to go straight up here because I want to go straight over to the other dude. Frozen Viking, I should be able to beat. Yes, he does have a bit of a, a bleed. But we do have two. Whoa. 
Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why is he hitting insane amounts of damage? That's insane. Alright, Rock Golem. We should be okay with the Rock Golem. The Viking was insanely strong that time around. You too! My goodness. You guys got some upgrades, didn't you? I might need to... Yeah, I might need to get rid of one of those shields. Upgrade it. So, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this spiky shield here. Let's see how that goes. Alright, so this is a dwarf construct. So, we should be okay. Because from what I remember, they, they just do pretty consistent damage. I mean, yes, they weaken me, but it's not that bad. So it's 95. Yeah, I should be fine. Um, none of these. I, I might as well re-roll it, though. Because where else am I going to use a re-roll? Heart cookie, mana orb, spectra staff. None of these, thank you. That's all my rerolls. Let's go up here. A champion shield. I will take that. And I will get rid of one of these lesser shields. Okay, I can't get the legendaries. Let's reroll this shop. All right, well, it was just fun to see, but I figured I wouldn't be getting anything here. Um, there is more burn. That could be fun. Oh. Okay, we're exchanging that, and then we should be good. Let's just heal ourselves up real quick. And there's no point in getting anything else, so let's go. You, sir, are going to be weak, and you're going to be bleeding. And I'm going to spin one time. Apparently, you're also going to have burn. Oh, that's because of my buff. That's right. That's right. I was like, where'd that burn come from? It's because of this. Nice. Handy little tool. Boop, 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 boop. Technically, I probably should have used um, the debuff. The debuff damage thingy. But I don't have it, and I'm sticking with my plan. It's all right. I guess this is to prove that you don't need it. You could just use um, poison and stuff. Well, he's going to damage me pretty good, though. Here we go. Oof. Man, my poison and my bleed. <laughs> Look at my bleed. That's insane. My bleed got him big time. Okay. So now we're in Django 4. I'm going to take a quick break. I was just thinking, it would be kind of funny if I do Django 4. I get him to Django 5, right? And I do a lane 5 and a Django 5 in the same video. That would be hilarious, actually. If, if I could technically get the runs while doing that. Like, if I can have successful runs, that is. All right, so... I'm going to stick with the 3x gold after defeating an elite. So let's become rich so we can just buy whatever the heck we want. And we have a lot of elites up north. Uh, technically, if I go this way, I'll get an extra elite right here. So we could do that. Go north and fight what we want. Is there anything that has a key? No, of course not. But there is this that has some pretty nice stuff. There's a blacksmith's hammer, though. I don't really care for that. Um, I'm actually going to go ahead and randomize this baby. No, that was bad. All right, let's just go for it. Anyway, we're going to be getting rid of most of that stuff ASAP. The feeble one's not a terrible thing to have. Uh, it's going to technically make up for not having the feeble, the random debuff that I would get if I chose the other perk, which is pretty good. It's okay. I don't mind. Um, all right, so I was going to get a mana squirrel here because I want to build up some mana as quickly as possible. I would love to get a golden key if that's possible. That would kind of set my foot on this run. It would make things a lot easier for me. I am not making any damage at all. I'm not doing any damage. This is bad. All right. Well, this is going to be game over. That's okay. That was just a test run, folks. That was just a test run. 
This character is does not have enough armor and is not doing any damage because everything they have is like mage weapons that don't really do much. All right, let's play again. It was a test. Okay, so trophy seller. Here we go with Django. And do 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 do. I'm going to go here. If I get a golden key, I'm going to go up north. I doubt I'm going to get a golden key, but a key would be nice to go north. Okay, looks like this is the one to go with. I mean, yes, this one's got a key, but it's also just all staffs and wands, which does nothing for me. Um, I would rather go ahead and go with this. This just has more damage. Plus, if I go south and get more gold just from fighting these dudes and choose whatever I want, right? Let's do that. Bam. Forest rock. Okay, so we got rusty axe. We got short sword. I'm taking the short sword. It's the better of the two. Rusty axe will be damaged over time and it will get ruined. Which I don't really want it to be ruined. Not really. Say goodbye, Enchanted Fairy. Hopefully I can get past stage four. So yeah, let's get a rusty greatsword so we can start doing a little bit more damage. My melee is a little bit weak at the moment. There we go. That, that did a big chunk of damage to this dude. Bam, bam, bam. And do you have a shield? You do have a shield. Nice. Okay, we're going to continue to prioritize the champions. The elites. The cream of the crop. The heroes. Okay, so we got two bucklers. Which is good. It gives me pretty good defense. Bam, bam, bam. All right, cool. Um, I will take the mana orb, actually, because you never know when that can be valuable. Okay, here we go. Fight against Enchanted Fairy. You're going to weaken me, are you? It's okay. I don't mind if you weaken me. You do you, fairy boo. And you should be gone. Nice. Um, I did take way too much damage from that, but that's okay because that's an elite, so it's kind of expected as well. Twenty-three damage. Wow. Crazy, dude. These guys are so strong sometimes, dude. They just do an immense amount of damage for no reason. No. You're just gonna... No. That's insane. Okay, so... What I'm gonna do then is... I'm, still, I'm gonna break this video up. I don't want it to be too, too long. I'm just struggling to get another win yeah yeah so that's gonna be it make sure you guys like and subscribe and check out the playlist there's more spin hero videos for you all to watch if you would like to watch more spin hero it's gonna be on the screen popping up on the left side yes but yeah thank you all for watching make sure you guys like and subscribe Inside of the description is going to be my Patreon and my Discord. You can check that out as well. I definitely recommend this game as well. If you do like auto battlers and roguelike deck builder kind of games. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.